And that is it. The final whistle blows and Arsenal have won 3-0. I mean, look, this result tells you that it's been a spanking performance by uh, Arsenal. You would think that Arsenal smashed Bournemouth. They did in the first half, but they only scored one goal and that goal came up from a penalty spot, which which most of us disagree that was not even a penalty Havertz going down in the penalty box. I don't think he was touched. I, I don't think there is enough contact, but it goes down. Penalty given, of course, Saka scored uh, from that penalty spot. Second half, I felt like this game was a lot closer. Uh, Bournemouth got in the game. Uh, Should have scored. Should have scored in the second half, really. Uh, Bournemouth, they have actually scored. They have actually scored, and a goal has been ruled out. And look... Some of the decisions in this game has been ridiculous, has been ridiculous by the referee. I think VAR and English Premier League uh, referees are ridiculous. I mean, I don't know what's going on. I seriously, seriously asking myself what is going on? What are we seeing this season? There's a lot of inconsistent calls and, and tonight as well, ruling out a goal, just shoulder to shoulder touch, really Solanke and the goalkeeper touched with Raya. They touch with shoulder to shoulder and referees calling a foul for that and disallowing a goal. That is just ridiculous. And also the penalty I just spoke about. Two massive decisions in this game has gone against uh, Bournemouth tonight. But in the end, overall, you would have to say Arsenal deserve to win this game. And they have all three points. Saka, Trossard and Declan Rice with the goal in the last minutes. Uh, but look, this is what the table looks like right now. You're looking at the table right now. Uh, Arsenal played 36 games, 83 points. Manchester City, of course, they got two games remaining. They got Wolves coming up, so they have to win now. They pretty much have to stay flawless. If, if they want to win the league now, Man City really got to win all their games. Only two games remaining for Arsenal. The biggest question for Arsenal is, can they go to Old Trafford and get a result? And that is still to be seen. I think that's the game I'm really, really looking forward to seeing. Can they win there? I don't think they can, but we will find out next week. We will find out next week at OT. But look, Arsenal have taken care of business tonight. And that's the three points here. Six, I mean, four-point gap now with Manchester City. Four-point gap. Of course, like I said, Man City is playing Wolves later on today. They need to be flawless. The game I'm really seriously looking at for Manchester City potentially to drop points is away at Tottenham. So that's going to be the game that we're going to look forward to. But do not underestimate uh, the game against Wolves as well. I think they, they could be some banana skin in that match as well. Make sure you join us later on today. We're going to be live for that match. But yeah, guys, that is it. Arsenal 3, Bournemouth nail. Every single one of you, make sure you smash the like on the stream and do subscribe to the channel if you guys are new to the channel. And let us know who is your man of the match tonight. I mean... I'm between Havertz, Edgard, and Declan Rice. I don't know which way to go. I might go Declan Rice, maybe, because he got the goal and the assist. So I'm going to go Declan Rice. You guys, let me know in the comment sections who is your man of the match. But yeah, guys, that is it. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace.